Yesterday morning, our union tabled the package of very significant uh, proposals with concessions in a number of uh, different areas. Top of that list is a three-year wage freeze and a new five-year restriction on employment security. I believe we are making progress towards a successfully negotiated collective agreement. It's so why we avoided speaking to the press. We had just tabled a very significant proposal where we moved on a number of issues. It took a lot for us to put this on the table. Our offer, our members would have five years, would be working for five years before earning the basic rights to employment protection. Our offer was unprecedented from the Union and the City of Toronto. Not surprisingly, the City's Chief Negotiator seemed pleased. We thought that we could see the framework of the deal coming into place. Nothing could have been further from the truth. Late last night, the City put a provocative, threatening final offer to to the table that, uh, that basically guts our collective agreement to the detriment of both workers and the services they provide. We were told to take it or leave it. This would be the city's final offer with 48 hours before their arbitrary deadline. It's the clearest demonstration to date that the city has no interest to bargain a collective agreement with us at this time. Their proposal came wrapped in a threat. Either we accept the proposal by 12.01 Sunday morning, but the city would impose terms and conditions on workers without a collective agreement. As, as example, as early as Sunday morning, the city could start firing or laying off hundreds of workers across the city. The city's position clearly seeks to provoke us into a fight. There is no other way to read it. And it's also unprecedented. I spoke to a number of labor leaders last evening with decades of experience, and not one of them had seen anything like this within the municipal public sector in Canada. In fact, the only real comparison that they could come up with is what's happening to electromotive workers in London right now. Simply put, this city had decided that it's better to be a bully than a problem solver. Our reaction to this, we will not be provoked. We will remain at the table to work uh, to find solutions to a collective agreement that is fair, affordable, and allows workers to continue to provide quality services to residents, just like we have been for the last four months. Remember, we didn't come to the table with significant proposals to enhance our collective agreement. Instead, we have agreed to more than 40 of the city's proposals and have offered a three-year wage freeze and a five-year restriction on employment security. We propose real solutions to dozens of other city complaints. For several weeks, we have struggled to engage in a willing partner at the bargaining table. The deputy mayor has been telling you the city wants a negotiated settlement. We now know that the city has never been interested in getting a deal here. And if the deputy mayor tells you today that he wants a deal, he's not being truthful. <coughs> the city has pushed us to a deadline while remaining entrenched in a position they knew that would never lead to a deal. There is a deal to be negotiated here, a deal that preserves services, keeps Toronto working together, a deal that residents, workers, and city councillors can accept. We are certain of this, and we remain committed to work towards that end. The only thing standing between a deal right now is that the city doesn't want one. Thank you. Mark, will you let me provoke you uh, into walking off the job? Uh, I just, uh, just said that uh, we would not be provoked. No, 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 no,